All right, everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. We're gonna very slowly tiptoe over here and then tiptoe over here. Damn it, motherfucker. Damn it. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're about to be in Clara, so that'll be nice. Um, and there's uh, a few ATEs, active time events, that we need to um, make sure that we view so that we can go back here and get even more treasure. And uh, needless to say, I'll make sure that we get all of those. That's what I'm talking about, this fucker can heal himself. <sighs> yeah, Ray's Wind is a is a godsend right now. Oh no! Oh, I hate that ability. Yeah, he can randomly eat people and just remove them from the fucking battle. I got a sneeze coming. Come on. Come on, sneeze or don't sneeze. Miss! Ah, God. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, I suppose. Um, although now I can give those those uh, terminus boots to uh, to Zidane. And yeah, I'll give me alert. I think me get back attacked a little bit less, and then I'll get to have. Uh, Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Whatever. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. This ability right here, there's a reason why I have that equipped. It's because fleeing in this game costs money. Unless you have that equipped. So, <laughs> that's why I have that there. Beast killer. Eh, I'm gonna go with alert. Back attacks suck. Alright. Nah. Not you again! These things are a huge pain in the ass. That thing's beak looks like something, but I can't put my finger on what. It looks like some sort of fruit. I don't really know what, though. Damn it, if I'd gotten one more region tick, I would have gotten Zidane back up above 400. Those little little piddly details like that I notice and they and they bother me for like I don't know ten seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, and those are absolutely useless. Oh well. All right, now we're in Clara. Uh, we're not going to be in here for very long though, because.
Um, so, might you be Lady Mybox? <laughs> Indeed I am. Where did you coming, my lady? How did you come to know my identity? The King of Prometheus requested that we guide you to him. Long live the king! Take me to him immediately. At once, my lady. Softly demanding. My boob, I shall go see the king. Now take this chance to rest. Yeah, good idea. This way, my lady. No, I do not want a tour. Kind of strange place, don't you think? Hey, my ass and my food. Let's just poke around town a little, okay? <laughs> okay, let's. I search for tasty munchies. Nom, 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 nom. Maybe, maybe I should ask her to show me around. I sense good tasties here in this tree town. I'm sorry, I cannot be of service. Eh, don't mind me, I'm just a jackass. Yeah, Gil. Gil is so useful. Um, all right. There's all sorts of handy dandy stuff around here. No yummy yummies. This town got no yummy yummies anywhere. Queen's meal? Southgate bunt cake? I think bunt cake is a really funny word. Um, so I have to... <clears throat> I have to view these ATEs in a specific specific order, so I'm gonna hold off on the uh, other ones. Uh, if they show up, come on, where's the other ATEs? I don't care about those. I want to see the other one with the... Uh... There's a mushroom! There we go. Never see this kind of mushroom before. I hope it edible. Ah, oh, well. If Keen is acting strange soon, we'll know why. It's actually kind of disgusting. That big, um... That big quicksand whirlpool that we saw a, a minute ago down below, that's like their, their trash heap. This is where they put all their garbage. You would spiral here start to look like ice cream. Oh my god. So dizzy! <laughs> uh, Alright, back we go. Good thing we exercise. Hey, a treasure chest. Tre treasure chest, God. But I bet they're no yummy yummies. Are they rotten anyway? God, you're s you're you're a complainer, Kena. God damn! Look at that. We got a silk robe for you and some magician shoes. We already had magician shoes, but now you get to have magician shoes too. Look at this. A fucking silk silk robe. It's brilliant. 
And it has ability up, so you can even learn shit faster. That is awesome. How can you be complaining? Alright, well that's about all there is here, so... Now I just have to make my way back up. Uh, well, I guess the, the silver lining in all of this is that we get extra experience from it just being the two of us, so that'll be nice. I just gotta count on Kina for healing. Which, you know, can be kind of dicey. Although if the encounter rate continues being zero, then we may not have a problem. Damn. Oh, well, I went the wrong way. Why can't the encounter rate be like this when I'm, like, in a full party? Christ, is nothing going to attack me? I was hoping to get, like, some... Some nice experience boost from... Oh, oh, oh shit! Shit, 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 shit! Actually, I need to find those carrion worms again, because they have auto life and I still don't have Damn it! God damn it! Fuck 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 fuck. Alright. I'd like to find the carrion worms again, but I don't think I'm gonna. What are the odds of this? That RNG is nuts! I made it through, like, five screens without getting a random encounter. My god, something awesome must be about to happen. Alright, well... I guess that's fine. Or lovely. <laughs> so useful. You can see what this is all about. so terrible. It's really pretty. So many settings in this game are just fucking gorgeous. I really can't get over it. This really is like one of my favorite Final Fantasies. I, you know, I might even like this one better than Seven. This might be my favorite Final Fantasy. Because as much as I, as much as I love, I love Seven for its story and for its, you know, the innovations that it made. But the battle system gets old without a job system. And 12 has, like, all of the side quests all the time, all the open world content, and a really fun battle system, and all sorts of just really neat mechanical stuff. But the story is not bad, it's just, you know, it's a, you know, it's, a, it's more of a political opera than it is really a fantasy. You bastard! You killed my father! Bastard! Hey, you shouldn't be raising your little your little ratties to say bastard at that age. 
Well, well, a bit touchy today, aren't we? Just one of the demons that sacked Promethea. I haven't heard anyone. Poor guy. Um... Anyway. I don't think that kid was one of the pointy hat demons anymore. That my ass kid didn't mean us any harm. <laughs> Guess we got carried away. Yeah, you guys were jerks. Be nice to my ass. Poor guy, look at him. Just holding his little hat. Never done anything bad. Yes, you have. You're a sinner. You must repent. I remember in... You know, it's... I don't, I don't know if I've recounted anything like this before. And there's probably multiple moments like this that tipped me off. But one of the first things that's coming to mind right now, uh, one of the first events in my life that I really experienced... Um, hold on, let's read this letter to my boob. Decided to start a small theater, but ain't had any luck finding actors. Do you know any good actors who are looking for work? Man, I wish y'all were here. Come to think of it, you panelist guys look like a bunch of outlaws. Just kidding. Koopo! She's looking for actors? I want to become an actor. You And you would be a great actor, you know? Moogles make fantastic actors. Anyway, um... Or the first things that t tipped me off to the fact that uh, Christianity was, well, how shall I say, not really for me, <laughs> um, was when, uh, like, I'm sure every kid that has been raised in any kind of moderately Christian, um, sense, which is to say, like, a Protestant, like, uh, my mom was raised Baptist, and then she converted to Catholicism, and now she's, like, kind of new agey and spiritual and still kind of Catholic, but not, but, I don't know, much more open. If she is still Catholic, she's much more open-minded about it now, and she has a whole bunch of extra beliefs and rituals that she respects and perhaps even adheres to um and she's never been like super militant about it or anything she was never she was never like that she was a decent one of the few decent uh i guess i don't want to say liberal but tolerant christians i don't know and like i said like in i know i mentioned this in an episode of something or other before but I mean, when you look to the core of Christianity, it really is about intolerance and hate. At least that's how I see it. Uh, and I've had a lot of research and stories to tell from both sides of the argument. But anyway, I think the moment that, and, I, and like I said, I know a lot of kids probably had this moment, um, particularly in a Protestant sense. Um, you go to... Um, Uh, I'm not trying to say. If you're ever in like a Protestant church or Bible camp or Bible study or just any kind of like Christian youth group of any kind that, uh, you know, of the Protestant variety, <laughs> strange apron clad individual. Ugh. Um, you probably had that moment where you were given the talk about how, like, you know, if you don't do this, that, and the other, you are going to hell. Like, completely, like, a lot of them, they have that talk where they're like, you accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, and it's just like this thing that you do, like, in your head, where you just flip a switch and all of a sudden you're saved and Christian and all that. And I remember myself and a number of other kids, probably, 
ask the same question. Like, what if someone like really good didn't do it? Like, you know, in the pic, the, the, you know, the guy we always went to was like, you know, some, you know, modern figure that is considered to be a really good person. Like, uh, uh, you know, like Abraham Lincoln or uh, Kennedy or I don't think any of us knew who Gandhi was, but Gandhi, uh, Martin Luther King is a big one. Like, what if they didn't accept Christ as their personal Lord and Savior in spite of everything awesome they did? Um, you know, and they're like, oh, no, they're going to hell. And I think that's, if there's any light switches that got flipped, it was, if you guys are wondering why I'm running around like an idiot, it's because I'm looking for a yellow scarf. There is a yellow scarf somewhere here. Somewhere. You know, if there's any light switch that flipped, it was like right then, you're like, wait a minute. Something's not right about this. This does not seem legit at all. There we go, yellow scarf. Nice. Uh, yeah, you know, there's something wrong with this. Like, there's no way this could be a fair and sensible system, you know? It wasn't like that, like, once my once my mom got me into a, into a Catholic school, um, because, you know, the Catholic Church has its own flaws uh, that are very well publicized and known. Um, but if there's one thing that I appreciate, I don't want to say like, but appreciate more about Catholics is that they're more prone to be philosophical and, you know, engage you on questions like that. And, uh, you know, there's gray areas with Catholicism, for better or for worse. God knows there's some places where not having a gray area might might have helped. But, you know, you could say, like, Catholics will say, like, oh, if someone like Martin Luther King didn't, you know, wasn't officially Christian or Catholic, they could still potentially get into heaven or whatever if they sit in purgatory long enough or if God judges them to be you know a truly good human being it doesn't they're, they're deserve to go to hell basically the, the Catholic Church acknowledges that there can be exceptions I guess or that there could potentially be exceptions um anyway Kind of a weird, kind of a weird conversation to have. But Vivi feeling so bad about himself made me uh, made me think about that. My boob. This may take some time, so please wait at the end. Afraid I cannot let you. Well, you're a douchebag then. I haven't talked to any of these people. I should probably talk to them just so that you can get like a semblance of. Um. Who these people are. So the Clarens and the Burmesians are essentially the same race of people. It's just different societies. They're both they're both rat people. Um, the Burmesians are um, more like. Hmm. How can I? Uh, How can I put this? The Burmesians are like the United States of America, and the Clarens are like, I don't know, India. If you disregard the uh, um, differences in wealth between those two countries and just judge them solely based on their ideals, um, or I don't want to say that because there's some fucked up ideals in India, but it's like, uh, I don't know. Burmesians are much more imperialist and uh, they're not imperialist. I don't want to say that. That's like Alexandria. They're, they're, they're modern, you know, they don't, they don't fuck with the old ways of like magic and dance like that woman was talking about. Um, you know, they dance, but they just dance for fun, I guess. I don't fucking know. 
and they run around with armor and spears and all that shit and the clarins are very peace loving and oracle-y and magically and stuff like that this calls for immediate action i shall inform the high priest at once he just walks off really slowly clarins are also damn lazy give me a hand if you think you're good enough Meh. All right, so I got to make sure that um, I'm not getting myself royally screwed over by going into battle uh, the, the way I am. Um, if there is anything at all that will keep me from um, hmm, shit. All right. Um, that's honestly probably the best I can do. Although, I should check and see what will get me the highest spirit stat. Because, uh, like I mentioned to you guys before, spirit is tied to your stealing, as I understand it. Uh, if someone knows differently, um, uh, you know, feel free to correct me, but that is it, as I understand it, and I am going to equip um, the coil ring temporarily, even though it has nothing good for me to learn, or I've, l I've learned everything from it already. Um, and uh, <clears throat> just do that so that I can have uh, that will help a little bit, not very much, but it'll help. And what do we got here? I guess, okay, yeah, let's do that. All right, and here we go. Get down here. Oh, I should probably save. That's probably a really good plan. <laughs> We're about to go find a boss. If you haven't, if you haven't grasped that yet, that yet. Uh, okay, here we go. Is the Moogle here? Please tell me. Oh, thank God. Sometimes Moogles walk away and just disappear. <laughs> the save points being animate objects uh, and living creatures really. Uh, can make this game interesting at times. Because sometimes they just uh, get up and walk away. And every time I talk to a Moogle, I always go to Magnet and cancel just to see if they have mail that they want me to deliver. Alright, here we go. This boss really sucks. Um, it can blind you, it can reduce your HP to, like, critical for, like, everybody in counter attacks. It's just, it's a, it's a shitty creature. <laughs> That's an antlion? I guess that is an antlion. It's a really, really big, fat antlion. Oh, wait, it's Puck. Champ. Is the child all right, my boob? Yes, he's fine. I don't think he's fine. Like, hell, I'm fine. <laughs> prince Puck. Oh, so that guy's the prince. It's the prince of Bermesia. Ow. Stupid jerk. Alright. Oh, God, this is gonna suck. Okay. Oh man, this is gonna suck. Well, at least we got that. Keep raise wind on everybody all the time. Um.
sure. Why not? I got a shit ton of ethers, so I may as well use them. whopping three anointments, which is what you need to cure that stupid uh, trouble status. So trouble is another new status effect that they made in this game, where basically what trouble does uh, honestly doesn't make much sense to me. Oh shit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh god. Yikes. Um, white wind again, please. I don't know if I have... I don't know if I have all the items yet. I haven't even been paying, paying attention to what I'm stealing. I'm just trying to stay alive. Um, so what trouble does is... If someone with the trouble status effect gets hit... Um, by an attack... It disperses that damage across your entire party. Um while still doing the full initial damage to whoever was hit, I think. I think that's how that works. Um, so it can definitely suck. Depending on, you know, what's happening. Give my food another ether. My food. Uh, so I can use Mighty Guard again. thing has one really good piece of armor left, and I really want it. Come on, come on. Sandstorm. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, damn. Yes! Oh my god, finally. Alright, so I'm gonna start using anointments on people. And, uh healing like crazy. Um, this thing is weak to ice, so I at least have that on my side. Um, but he does counterattack, so you gotta kinda be careful with that. Ouch. Um, I'm here. Okay. I might make it through this alive. Holy shit.
Okay, alright, alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh man. Oh, thank god. Oh man, that was close. Oh my god, I did it! Oh god, I hate that boss so much. Not as... wow, goodness. Not as bad as uh, Gizmo Loot, but still pretty bad. Anyway, I think I'm going to cut the episode here, guys, and I'll see you guys next time, and we'll continue the plot and find out if His Highness is alright. Puck. Fuck Puck. <laughs>